for Joel. Justice 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 for Joel. All I want to say is Sunday at 3 a.m. I received a call, not from NYPD, not from anyone, but from one of my brothers saying that my son had been shot. I arrived to the scene. My son was no longer there. They had taken him to a nearby hospital. I'm not gonna make a long story short. Today is Friday. I have yet to see any video footage of what they say my son did. They said that my son held a gun, that a gun was recovered, and that my son held a gun at four officers from this precinct. If my son indeed did something wrong, Everyone eventually wants to go home to their family. So if that's what he did, we wanna see it. I want to see it. Because if he did something wrong, then I would be at peace at that. I wouldn't be okay, but I would be at peace at that. My son was shot 36 times, according to the medical forensic. You don't shoot an animal. 36 times. And YPD goes to training. They are trained to defuse and de-escalate. They're not trained to put their life in danger because I'm not saying that that's what they should have done. But they are trained to defuse and de-escalate. At no time did they, they, try, they try to defuse and de-escalate that situation. I wasn't there. So I can tell you what happened. But my son was 128 pounds soaking wet. He was shot 36 times. There was an incident that happened. And it seems like there are so many narrative that have already started to begun. We understand that a gun was recovered we understand that the police shot 47 times and 36 bullets hit him. I've dealt with many cases and when the police say they 100% right, they release the video almost immediately. We don't have to call for the video body cams to be released but in this case the mother has heard so many narratives she's seen so many different videos different stories and the police has not released the video where's the courtesy to this family where's the professionalism to this family where's the respect the mother deserves to see the video of her son. The father too. And the father deserves to see the video. It's absurd that we have to ask these questions. We have to ask these questions in the 21st century. It's absurd that we do not have the respect of the police department. So we're calling we heard that the mayor, Eric Adams, he said that he saw the video. But how can you see the video and you don't show the mother and the father? We're demanding for them to see, let us see the video before Sunday. Any other evidence that you want to see from this case? Yes, there's more evidence. There's body cam footage that we're asking to see. They want to, there's a lot of individuals that have other videos that we want to be able to give to the Attorney General's office who's the independent prosecutor because there's different narratives um, so and there's different things uh, that is more puzzles to the investigation. 
So we want to be able to make sure that they have all evidence. They can't just rush to a narrative that he had a gun without showing the video, without speaking to witnesses, without getting all the videotape. Justice for Joel! 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 Justice for Joel!